I wanted to show you how you can generate a defined XML from the uh, input data set that you have. Uh, in this example, on my iPhone, I selected the AE data set and the DM data set. So if I were to go down and then um, you know, select the same library and then select one additional data set, for example. So let's say on the library, I'm going to select this library, define DATS. And then for the data set, I'll go ahead and select um, maybe another data set, for example, IE or something like that. So in this example, I have three data sets, IE, DM, and also uh, my AE. So all I have to do now is tap on Run, and it will actually process by capturing all the metadata of the data sets, uh, including any additional definitions of the data definition, and generate the define XML, and then deliver that to the screen. Um, let me go ahead and use the pinch to zoom in here. And so this allows me to see at the top the three, this is the actual XML file displayed on the iPhone. And it shows me the, th the three data sets that I am documenting here and any related um, attributes at the data set level. If I were to tap on, let's say, for example, the DM, uh, this is a hyperlink, so that it would actually jump down to the DM domain data set and show me the attributes for that. So I can also go to the navigational um, kind of the bookmark on the left here and if I were to tap on for example the the data metadata it would jump to the data set level metadata here to the right so if I were to go back here and tap on for example the IE you will see on the right here that it will navigate down to the IE so let me tap on that and as you can see here it goes to the inclusion exclusion criteria so that's how I'm able to produce the latest define XML. Um, so if I were to go back to my selection here um, by tapping on the data definition, I can select different data sets. Uh, in my example, I selected those three. And if you were to have a legacy system that requires a PDF, I can actually enter in the file output file type to be of type PDF instead of um, XML and then hit you know um, return so I'm now going to create a PDF instead of XML as an option and tap on run so it's going to capture the exact same metadata but now it's going to produce a PDF file instead of an XML file um, so the iPhone can actually display the same file in PDF uh, mode here so uh, you'll get the exact same information but as you can see there are page numbers because PDF is a page oriented um, so you can go down and look at the metadata for this file and you can zoom in um, to look at it more closely in PDF format so how this is done is you would first need to look at the guidelines uh, from the CETIS org website and then if you were to go to their standards and pull down the menu define XML you will see the detailed um, define XML specifications including uh, example uh, schema files and um, you know, the styles that you would need to create to view it so once you have that you can then um, go back to your iPhone I'll show you from the very beginning um, what you would do is that I'm going to close out of this here. So this is my iPhone desktop, if you will, my home um, screen. If I were to click on the BI Flash, which is the tool that enables me to run these SAS programs, it connects to the server and then um, it would allow me to go to a macro. The, essentially, I'm running a SAS macro to generate this define XML. So um, I can select on the library 
I can have many different libraries for different uh, macro programs. Uh, in this example, I'm working on the define uh, doc library, which has, whoops, let me go back. I tapped on home. If I were to go to the define doc, and I can then go to my macro, and I start the process of selecting the library and data set as I did before. And then all I need to do is then tap on run to get the final results of the define XML or uh, in the other example, define PDF if that's needed.